Hi, veterinary peeps. Today I want to talk to you about taping in IV catheters. It's very interesting because obviously I recently did Bad Vein, the sequel, and thank you again to everyone who attended. Like, I can't even get over the fact that 9,000 people registered and that we kind of broke the internet when 3,000 people, which was max capacity, actually did attend. Like, pfft. I'll lecture for another 15 years and still never get even close to that number. That's crazy to me. But one of the things I got a lot of questions about was taping. How do I tape in my IV catheters? So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna post on my website a document that kind of just shows how I tape an IV catheter. Is it the perfect way? No, it's not. It's just my way. And it's a way that has, was actually shown to me by a bunch of veterinary technicians in a hospital that I worked at. But here's some of the rules in taping in IV catheters. First of all, there is no perfect method. I know that everyone thinks they have a perfect method, but there is no perfect method. So however you decide to tape in an IV catheter, as long as the catheter remains patent, the patient is comfortable, meaning they don't have big puffy feet, and the catheter doesn't fall out, you're good. I don't really care how else you tape in your catheter. Number two, you need to tab the damn ends of your tape, both sides. Tab the tape, people, tab it. Why are you not tabbing the tape? How is this not a known thing? You need to tab your tape. When I go to unwrap a catheter and I am like picking at the tab because you did not tab the tape, I am actually saying really terrible things under my breath about the individual who placed the catheter. And I know you're gonna remember which side that needs to be tabbed, but you won't. And then you'll put the wrong side down and you'll forget. So make it a habit to tab your tape so that your removal process or readjusting process is that much easier. Number three, be consistent. Listen, I'm a free spirit, people. I love unicorns and rainbows. And I, I, I wrote a book and put a unicorn on it, despite my editor saying, that's stupid, Amy. Why would you put a unicorn on it? Because I like damn unicorns. And I think I made the book, so I'm going to put a unicorn on it. So listen, I'm a free spirit. I like to kind of break the norms. I like to do my own thing. But here's why you need to be consistent in your hospital. This is kind of across the board. Consistency is important so we reduce medical errors. And I get it. We've got a lot of free-spirited people in our hospital. But if I place a, and tape a catheter a certain way, and then someone else tapes a completely different way, and then someone else tapes it completely different way, it takes us all that much longer when I need to remove the catheter or adjust the catheter. Because adjusting the catheter is a big problem in veterinary patients. Unlike human medicine, where they very rarely chew out their IV catheters, some do, some do, people. Um, but very rarely do they chew out their IV catheters. For us, it is a problem. We get T sets that are removed, you know, it's half in, half out. Can we salvage the catheter? So it's really a big problem when consistency doesn't happen in the hospital. I need you to all agree how to tape the catheters in so that we don't have people yelling at each other or thinking one way is better than the other. The other thing that allows you to do is to see what works best for your hospital. If we have a million different ways, then someone's gonna be walking around going, I. I'm the only one who knows how to tape in the catheter the best way here. These other idiots, they don't know what they're doing. We gotta stop that stuff because there's actually like catheter tape wars occurring in our hospitals. Can we just can we just stop that? And then the other thing, the last thing you have to think about when you're taping in a catheter is what is that piece of tape doing? Listen, I have seen some crazy stuff in my lifetime of 20 plus years of vet med. And people get very creative. There's just tape on top of tape on top of tape. Those pieces of tape are not actually contributing to anything. It's about physics. If the catheter is going in the leg up, how do we make sure that we provide force upward to remove the to ensure that the catheter is not going to be pulled downward? So let me repeat that. It's physics, people. Think about it. It's I know you don't love physics, but that's what it is. If the catheter is going up, we want to make sure that we provide enough force pushing the catheter up so that the patient can't pull the catheter down. So how do we create tension going upward so that we don't have the catheter fall downward? There is actually a reason, a scientific reason of putting pieces of tape in certain places, in certain methods, so that we can make sure that we have tension that is going against the downward movement of this catheter falling out. I know, mind blow. So here's the reality, things that I love. 
I love an anchor piece of tape. For those of you who watch my Bad Veins, the sequel, I always like having a pre-tape before I'm putting in that catheter. Yes, I pre-tape my catheter, people, because I'm getting older. It's too hard. You get the catheter, now the animal's trying to move its leg. I'm trying to sneak a piece of tape underneath the catheter, secure it. Like, I like to do that all ahead of time. The other thing is I like those tension loops. That's what we used to call them in the 90s. Now it's my understanding you call call them like crisscross or bra straps. I don't know what you want to call them. I don't know of a bra strap that kind of goes like this. I guess so. Maybe the, the X bra strap. I have no idea what you people are calling them. But one time I called it a tension loop and somebody said to me, you mean a bra strap? And I was like, I guess. I guess if that's what you're calling it, go for it, people. I have no idea. So anyway, tension loop bra strap or crisscross, whatever you want to call it. It is of the force of it. Look at it. It's pulling upward, right? To keep the catheter up. That's what the whole goal is. So it doesn't fall out. So it's actually creating that. I usually like to use at least one or if not two of those. And then I use one more piece of tape. So in conclusion, all I'm really using is four pieces of tape, maybe only three pieces of tape. That's it. That's it. And I like my method. I very rarely get fat foot and I very rarely have a catheter falling out. I will go ahead and post a link in this actual vlog that you will see so that you can go and pull off the PDF so that you can have images. Again, I'm not saying it's perfect. I'm just saying it works for me and I can assure you the tabs are tape, uh, the tape is tabbed on both ends and it's consistent across the board no matter where I've worked in every hospital and there's a purpose to every single piece of tape. Thank you guys so much for listening and keep on being a unicorn.